What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an application called Phone View. Um, this is for all you iPhone users out there. Um, all you do is dock up your uh, iPhone to your computer um, and then you start this application or you can actually have this application set to start by itself when you plug in your phone. Um, to me, I think this is the coolest application for iPhone users that you could possibly have. I've wanted something like this for a really long time and I just didn't even know it existed. So when I found this a couple days ago, I about went crazy over it. I think it's extremely cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and start up here in the uh, menu bar. And say about phone view and it tells you a little bit about the application as far as the number, uh, the website, stuff like that. Um, you can go up here and refresh. You can go into your preferences, have it search for updates. I'll show you the preferences real quick. You can get have it. Here's where I was talking about. You can have it launch. Uh, when your iPhone is attached to your computer. Um, you can show the entire disk which is advanced disk mode. Um, which this right here, one thing that I need to uh, mention really quick, uh, if you are one of the people that's afraid to jailbreak, which you shouldn't be, um, this doesn't modify any of your system files. You don't have to be jailbroken to use this or anything like this. So it's nothing that you really need to uh, worry about at all as far as that. Um, you can set your SMS uh, export format, which I need to change that. Um, so this can actually show you your entire uh, disk. If you, I think this is only if you're jailbroken though. So not a lot of options, but you don't need many. Um, you can have a new folder. You can copy to your iPhone. Uh, you've got your archives over here. Um, your basic edit menu, uh, and then you've got your window. So you don't even have like a help or anything like that because if you noticed, well I closed it, um, when you open the folder that this application is in, it actually has the manual uh, in PDF right there and actually it's right here on your disk when you start this. So um, I took some images of some Michael Jackson wallpaper that I have. And this, I know everybody's heard of the pedo bear, I know everybody has. I have like a huge image of it uh, with the background deleted and I thought, I just love that little bear. Uh, so anyway. You can actually use your iPhone uh, as sort of like a flash drive with this application. You go up to disk and you just drag files from Finder into here that you want to save. Uh, you can't view these files on your phone, but you can have them as like a backup on your phone. That way if uh, anything happened to your Mac or you just want to transfer it from one Mac to another that has this application on it, that's a cool way to do it. Um, you can go into your contacts, which I'm not going to click on because it shows all the phone numbers. You've got your notes, your call log, which you can see through here, uh, which I'm going to have to block out. I forgot the numbers around here. Uh, the names and everything of everybody uh, that have called you, incoming, outgoing. You've got your SMS here. You can actually go up here and you can copy from your iPhone and you can actually save your text messages. You can actually go in and save your call log if you want. Uh, you can delete text messages if you want. You can check your archives. You got your settings over here, which is your preferences. Uh, you can get to on the user interface or from the menu bar. Um, you got your web, which this shows you all your web history, websites you've gone to. Uh, so if you've closed a website on your phone and lost it, uh, and you want to go to it on your Mac, you just turn this on, uh, and you can go in through your history and find what you're looking for and actually save it. You can copy stuff from your phone or to your phone, either one. You got all your music right here your mp3s that you've transferred, um, you've got TV shows that are synced, your ringtones, your photos, uh, you can take this stuff and uh, send it from your phone uh, and copy all your images from your camera roll to your computer because I know that's going to be a lot, lot, lot easier than going in and uh, trying to email each and every one of those because you can only email like five images at a time so uh, now I'm not sure if you can or not this is another question I meant to ask them and I forgot I'm not sure if you can copy images to your camera roll I tried dragging straight from the finder and it didn't work so I don't think you can but I'm not sure on that uh, but this is a really really cool application for uh, just being able to transfer files to and from your phone and to be able to do it on non-jailbroken phones and not having it mess with like your file system or anything like that is extremely, extremely useful. I know a lot of people that have 
ask for this specific type of thing uh, to me before, and I just had no idea what to tell them because I didn't even know anything like this existed. So, uh, definitely a cool application. I would highly, highly recommend this to iPhone users. Uh, you can even go in here and like highlight a file, and you can even play it from within here, uh, which I'm not going to do. But um, it shows how many songs you have. It's just I keep finding more and more useful things on this application. So I love this application. Anybody with an iPhone, I highly recommend this. Check it out. I will put the link over in the sidebar. So definitely check that out. And let me know what you guys think of this awesome application. Thanks.